hobby quick hits. Delivering that breaking hobby news. Directly to your earlobes. You wanna know those hot drops from the car shop? We've got you covered. With your host, John Newman. Welcome to another edition of Hobby Quick Hits. Today we're going to talk about my sort of rules, stuff that just I've ingrained in me, stuff I've learned. Some of it just comes on my upbringing, but my approach to podcasting, you know, sort of my rules for myself with how I do this about, you know, being myself. You're not better than anyone. Share your knowledge. That, those sort of things. Uh, I did a social media post uh, some time back, and uh, you know I was looking at it, and I'm like, I should do an audio version of the social media post with my approach to you know how I hobby and how I content create uh, with the hobby. And uh, going to be a short, short episode, but uh, you know we're going to cover sort of my rules and and things that I follow to try to be the best hobbyist and the best content creator uh, I can be, more relatable to everybody else, because I am just like everyone else. I buy cards, sell cards, uh, sometimes trade cards, go to shows, set up at shows, right? I'm in the hobby just like you. Uh, if you're if you're listening to this, you're probably in the hobby. Uh, you're not better than me, and I'm for sure not better than you. And that's always been sort of my approach. And uh, it's just one of some of the rules that I'm going to share uh, quickly today on the show. But before we get to that, let's hear from our great sponsors, Mojo Breaks, and we'll be right back after that with the show. MojoBreakShop.com is the best place to get your sealed wax products and breaks. They not only have the best selection, but the best prices. Whether it's a box or a whole case, they are your guys. They ship worldwide to your doorstep. Their reputation as one of the most trusted in the hobby goes unmatched. They are the 2021 Topps Rip Party Champion Breakers. From sports card to Pokemon cards, their selection can't be beat. They offer daily deals and pre-orders. Hey guys, John Newman here. Mojo's prices are already great, but to save an additional 10% off anything in their store, use the code QUICKHITS. That's Q-U-I-C-K-H-I-T-S. Check out the full service store that's open seven days a week in Santa Clara, California, or the website at mojobreak.com Let's check out this week's Hobby Wax releases. Take it away, Max. Hey everyone, it's Max from the Sports Card Shop in New Buffalo, Michigan, and soon to be Valparaiso. We are bringing you guys the weekly releases for the next couple weeks here. And starting off on the 7th, we have 2022 Three, top Series 2 Baseball on 2022-23 Upper Deck Extended Series Hockey. On the 9th, we have 2023 Leaf Draft Football Hobby Blaster, 2023 Panini Donruss UFC, tw- tw- and 2022-23 Panini Select FIFA Soccer, as well as on the 9th once again, we have 2022-23 Tops Finest Overtime Elite Basketball. On the 14th, we have 2022 Panini Select Football, 2023 Super Break, Super Doubles Edition, 2023 TriStar Hidden Treasures Autographed Basketball Jersey, uh, 2021-22 Upper Deck Ice Hockey, 2022-23 Upper Deck Synergy Hockey, 2023 Leaf Metal Draft Football Hobby and Jumbo, and on the 16th, 2023 Panini Revolution WWE, 2023 Panini 3-2 Baseball. Enjoy your show. Let's go around the hobbyverse and catch up on this week's hobby news. Let's start with Collectors, parent company of PSA. They have laid off 11 people, heavy uh, casualties in the marketing department. Such notables as David Steinberger, Terry Malia, Todd Tobias, 
and eight others um, were uh, let go uh, with severance. Um, a source from uh, collectors uh, rep is reporting that more may be to come as the company tries to market itself for a potential future sale. Now, the only thing I'll caution there, folks, as someone who comes from the corporate world at one point is sometimes, you know, when an employee gets let go, they go to the media and say something that may not be accurate. So I'm surprised if the company is, is marketing itself for a future sale already uh, after, you know, Nat Turner's group purchased it. A little surprised at the timing uh, of it, but may maybe not, right? If you can turn a profit, you know, when when Nat Turner's uh, group bought the company, it was a different uh, hobby stratosphere than it is now. So, you know, uh, obviously I, I don't have any inside information, so we'll have to uh, wait, and, wait and see there as far as uh, any future sales or future layoffs. All right, we have some news on the Panini Fanatics lawsuit. Uh, with uh, Fanatics uh, purging, uh, you know, poaching, I should say, some of uh, Panini's employees uh, and Panini filed a lawsuit. There's been a temporary restraining order uh, issued on both parties. Panini uh, is accepting of that. So there'll be no, you know, further transactions, if you will, until the court date, uh, the trial date, uh, which is uh, April 8th, 2024. So uh, this should kind of settle down until the trial itself, which is, again, April 8th, 2024. Staying on the uh, Panini, uh, you know, they, they were broken into. I know that's not this week, but we do the show every other week, so we, we haven't covered it. A lot of vandalism. Uh, computers ripped out of the... Uh, the walls, uh, TV sets taken off the walls. Um, a lot of people, you know, are worried about maybe their information being compromised. No, uh, no word that that's, uh, that's a threat or, or going on. Uh, police are obviously uh, involved. And, uh, you know, if you go online, there's all sorts of conspiracy theories and, and rumors and innuendo. One, uh, one I heard was that, it was an inside job by Pernini because of the one-on-one Tatum out the back door allegedly, you know, being sold on eBay when it was a customer's redemption. And that customer is uh, threatening uh, legal action. And this is uh, the, the one thing I heard was this was Panini's way of sort of taking the attention away from that. I, I, don't, I don't know if I, I don't necessarily believe that but you know you get all sorts of theories when stuff like this uh happens so we'll see you know i gotta think there was cameras involved hopefully they they got somebody uh on video that maybe will lead to an arrest or apprehension uh involving uh, uh the burglary vandalism uh in the panini corporate office offices uh in texas mike kramer the founder of pacific trading cards Coming out with a new book in September. It's called Kramer's Choice, the memoir of a baseball card collector turned manufacturer. And that guy, you know, you think Pacific, and then we think Tops and Upper Deck, and, you know, we we know they don't rank high on that totem pole. But uh, Mike Kramer, if you know anything about him, very innovative, uh, very creative, and uh, a lot of stories to tell about about that company going up against the big boys uh, back in the day and some interesting stories from you know uh, a cork bat game used card and Manny Ramirez to why the company eventually went defunct and and all that stuff so it's a book I'm looking forward to uh, reading and when it comes out and, and maybe we'll make some efforts uh, to talk to uh, Mr. Kramer uh, as well <laughs> Feature presentation. So I had posted about what I'm about to talk about on social media uh, some weeks back. Uh, 
uh, and I wanted to do an audio version of it. And that's my sort of a, approach to podcasting, hobby-wise, and, and, and how what I, sort of my rules for myself. Again, uh, this is not to be preachy. This is what worked for me. Some other podcasts podcasters may have their own rules they may even have these as some of their rules that they thought of themselves so this is not so much a a playbook well it is it's a playbook for me um and and some of it may be useful to other people but for me this is how i approach you know turning on the mic and some of my own rules when it comes to you know hobby podcasting hobby content if you will and the first one, and again, these I, I, I wrote these down, but I, technically I didn't even have to write these down. These are instilled in me more more by how I was raised than than learned. But uh, that being said, I'll, I'll go through them. Right, I'm, one of the first ones is is knowing like, hey, I'm I'm no better than anyone else, regardless of how long I've been in the hobby, uh, how long you've been in the hobby. Uh, we're in this hobby together. No, as I've always said, there's no pension plan there's no tenure I, I might have more experiences but that's as far as it go and knowing that right when you don't feel like you're better than somebody I think it comes across in how you treat people how do you talk with people and you know I, sometimes whether I'm at a show or a national and someone who recognizes me comes up to me and oh man you know you you know blah 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 you know you're John Newman I always you know, I hope, number one, I appreciate it, but I, I, you know, I shake hands, I talk to them. I'm not in a hurry to like end the conversation. And you know, a lot of times, even after when we're sort of winding that conversation down, I'll get this, which I always laugh at, like, hey, you're a lot nicer in person than I thought you were going to be. And I'm like, I don't know what you were thinking. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty down to earth sorted guy. So I've always been like that. Uh, I've had roles, you know, as a, a high school varsity football coach where you have to be an administrator you have to be you know authoritative authoritative but by nature i'm really just a regular dude and and i'll always be a regular dude and uh, i'm not going to change when i turn uh the mic on that that's uh that's not how it works all right another one uh, be open-minded and a student of the hobby that's a big one right again it doesn't matter how long you've been doing this this hobby is changing by the day right we got conferences and summits with new products new stances new policies right even if i knew everything in the hobby today i don't but let's hypothetically say that say i do there's going to be something new that happens today or this week that I'll, i'd have to learn anyway so you're all always a student uh, of the hobby or you should always or you should be uh because you, you you know no one knows everything i don't care what they tell you when they turn their mic on they do not know everything they may know a lot they may be very experienced uh but they do not know everything so be open-minded and be a student in the hobby that's something I try to do. Another one, be knowledgeable about subject matter, right? So when I turn this mic on and do a show, whatever show it may be, uh, if I know it, I'll say I know it. If I think it, I'll say I think it is. If I don't know it, I'll say I don't know. There's nothing wrong with saying I don't know. Let me find out. Let's look it up. Let's research. Uh, it's human, right? No one knows everything. I respect uh, uh, you know, uh, a content creator more when they say I'm not sure, but let's 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 research it. Then when they say something or you know, sort of phony baloney their way through something, and then they turn out to be be wrong right i respect someone who says hey I'm, I, I don't know right another one knowledgeable about the difficulties of the hobby and willingness to discuss them right everyone wants to turn their mic on and talk about their wins right look at this big time card i got look at you know i bought this for 20 bucks and i sold it for 200 right and those things happen and when they happen to you great right and i've been there uh in some of those cases but i think you know you got to talk about both sides of the coin right very few sports teams go undefeated in the season even the very good ones even the ones that win the championships had lost that year right and that's my approach i will tell you when i was wrong when i made a mistake uh how i'm not gonna try not to do 
that again, right? It again comes back to being a human element. People can relate to other people who've lost like them too and one like them. But if all you everything you touch is gold, um, you'll lose people because they want they want to hear how you're like them. And uh, we win and lose. Uh, and I share both of those uh, wins and loss. Ability to use relevant scenarios and examples, right? Um, you know, again, it's it's self-explanatory, right? Talk about your experiences uh, in the hobby. You know, be transparent. Uh, wins and losses, why? Uh, ability to say, I don't know, and I made a mistake. I kind of already said that uh, with, uh, you know, being knowledgeable about subject matter, right? People appreciate it when you can be humble enough to say, I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, Nothing wrong with that. Willingness to share personal experiences, right? Some people don't really, it's tough, right? For some people, it's tough to really share things they do or personal experience. Now, don't, you know, don't put your credit card number on the air, but uh, you can talk about, you know, I've been on this show and talked, there was a stretch during episode 40 and 50, some couple years back there, that, you know, the content creation was really taking hold. I was upstairs a lot. Uh, uh, and my wife, you know, say, hey, who are you? You know, I haven't seen you in a, in a bit, right? little message across the bow, like you're, you're really getting sort of, you know, crushed by this, getting consumed. I love you, but, you know, come on. And um, it, it, it forced me to do, I don't want to say it forced me, uh, but it, it, it caused me to really take a step back. Sometimes you need someone else to tell you what's going on before you, re, you know, the light bulb goes off yourself. So it really forced me to change how I do stuff a little bit, uh, be more economical with my time. It forced me to look at how I did the show, how I did scheduling, how I edited it, right? I was editing it in a long form way and I watched a 20 minute you know tutorial on audacity which is the editor i use and i learned so much in that 20 minutes it literally saved me three to four hours a week from watching that tutorial so i learned to better economize my time and i probably it's crazy a couple years later i probably do more shows now than i did not probably i do and i spend way less way less more time doing more shows i've just gotten smarter at how i do it and uh it you know took a little bit and it also took maybe someone else saying something and i had no problem coming on and saying hey this this happened this i was in the middle of of the belly of the beast and my wife you know kind of woke me up uh some other people you know maybe wouldn't be as sharing of that but uh, I, I, you know, I'm a pretty transparent and open guy. I had no, you know, inhibitions about uh, sharing personal experience. And I do that uh, to this day, right? Even with deaths in my family, a pet dying, my wife's car getting stolen, all that stuff. Show how my shows went and, and different things like that, right? And last, I'll close it with this one, right? Be more positive than negative, right? But, you know, we also do have to talk about bad things sometimes in a hobby robberies burglaries people scamming bad breakers switching cards or not you know sending someone the card they rightly deserve uh you know card fraud trimming the list goes on and on right chill bitters uh you know we could do a literally a whole show on bad stuff and and i've have done that but you know it's important to to educate uh, the hobby out there that these pratfalls exist how to steer around them how not to run over them and fall into them um but it can't you know if that's the only thing you're going to do is be negative that doesn't do it. at least for for speaking for myself i i don't i don't like that sort of kind um but if it's p- only part of what you do and you, you highlight some positive stuff positive people positive stories positive things just present the hobby as the greatest hobby as dr beckett says that it it is and and also talk about that too that balance there that's how i uh, approach with my content so if you want you know roses daisies and and sweet music 100 percent of the time probably not the guy for you but if you want you know 60 75 percent positive uh but also trying to educate you and helping you avoid some of the the bad things that do happen in the hobby that we can't barrier head in the sand or be naive about then you know that's what i try to so those are what works for me uh folks uh again there's no template there's no playbook everyone does it maybe differently maybe 
people take some same things and apply it to what they do, but that's just uh, what I do. And I know I posted a, a post and I said, you know what, I'm going to do the audio version uh, of that uh, that social media post. So with that being said, we're going to wrap the show up. Uh, thanks for listening and we'll see you very soon. Take care. Be well. All right. Thank you for listening to another episode of Hobby Quick Hits. Want to give out our social media, starting with our website, which is www.sportscarnationpodcast.com. Facebook, you can follow us at www.facebook.com forward slash sportscarnationpodcast forward slash. Twitter, we are at sportscardnat1, so it's sportscard, N-A-T-I-1. Instagram, at Sports Card Nation Podcast, or you can email the show hobbyquickhits at gmail.com. Again, thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.